My dear buddies, welcome back to Motorcycle University videos. So this is the fourth video of Motorcycle University and we are going to be talking about a cylinder. We've heard this so many times saying that your cylinder is worn out. That is the reason your motorcycle is not producing power. Correct? So take a look at it, how a cylinder looks like. Nitin, could you please zoom in? So this is literally a cylinder. All right, it's empty. Okay. And what does it actually do? This houses the piston. And this is the piston. All right. So here we go. This piston actually goes inside the cylinder and it moves up and down for all the four strokes. So let me put this into it. And what provides a proper seal in between the cylinder walls, internal walls and the piston, those are known as the piston rings. So in the next video, I'll talk about piston rings in detail. All right. So now let me show how the piston and cylinder together work. As I already mentioned in my previous videos that the piston actually gets connected to this connecting rod here. Okay. And the connecting rod gets connected to the crankshaft. Okay. The power produced by the piston goes to the connecting rod and the connecting rod transfer the, transfers the power to the crankshaft and the crankshaft transfers the power to the clutch then the gearbox, then the chain, then the wheel. Here we go. Let me put the piston inside the cylinder. So this cylinder is of a Duke 200. And generally you keep hearing CC. My motorcycle is 150 CC, 200 CC, 600, 1000. So generally in bigger motorcycles, bigger engines, the size of the cylinder and the piston would be much bigger. So buddies, in my previous video, I explained about the four strokes of a motorcycle or a car engine. If you have not watched that video, do look it up on my channel. So after the piston is connected like this to the connecting rod, it moves up and down. You know, it's, you, can, you can see this. Can you please zoom in Nathan? It moves up and down like this. I mean, it's tough. It's not easy to move it because it's got a nice good seal around the cylinder walls. Okay. So in the first stroke, I'm going to repeat this. So in the first stroke, what happens is that there would be two valves here or four, four valves depending on the motorcycle and in the induction stroke the piston actually goes down all right it goes down and this whole area gets filled with air and fuel mixture and in the next stroke compression compression stroke this moves up and compresses the air and fuel mix. On the top here would be a part known as a head, a cylinder head, which would also have valves. All right. So at this point, the spark plug, which is located here, would give a spark and the compressed air and fuel mix would create a bang known as a power stroke or a combustion stroke. And this piston would move down with force move down move down like this and in the last stroke that is the exhaust stroke this piston again goes up and the exhaust valve opens up and all the gases inside the cylinder would get moved out so the primary job of any cylinder of any engine is to help the piston produce compression all right so a cylinder houses the piston and allows the piston to complete all the four strokes so 
in the next video let me show how the valves work and how they look like so thank you buddies i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, well do give it a thumbs up do subscribe to this channel and keep following motorcycle university thank you bye bye